Yes. Yes. <risa> Super chulo, es un cortometraje que se llama Snack Attack. Yeah. <risa> Mira el vídeo en completa, bla 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 bla. Los verbos tienen pretérito imperfecto y plus cuan perfecto en pasado. Al terminar comentamos que nos ha permitido, ¿vale? Entonces, keyboard, teclado. Yeah. Like, sí, acción. A ver. No, no. Yeah. Sí, quedó. No, Recordad, ojo, vemos la solución, ¿vale? Uh, es sí. un problema. Wait, wait, ah, no, ah, no, no, wait, ah, no, 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 Okay. Fin. <laughs> Bien, entonces comentáis en parejas. Para los galletas. Después. Nice. Thank you all for. Well, first of all, welcome uh, to our very small and cozy talk. Uh, thank you for coming. I don't have a formal introduction because our guest today doesn't require one. Uh, we, all, we all know her and we all know of her. This is a talk, um, sort of, I don't want to say repeat of the talk, it's going to be slightly different, but uh, Lolly here did something similar last semester. Uh, by popular demand, we are bringing it back. Um, we'll be discussing how H5P can be used to design interactive multimodal materials. So it's more of a workshop, uh, which is the reason why we urge you to bring your computers with you. Uh, but if you don't have your computer with you, that's, that should be okay too. Um, I don't want to make this longer than necessary, so I'll pass it on to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Well, uh, I teach Spanish language here at Columbia, and today I'm going to talk about H5P. You, maybe you came for the previous workshop, so um, I am going to go through the, some examples of some activities I have created, uh, interactive presentations, language and culture activities, reading and listening activities, grammar and vocabulary, examples of my own creation. But then we will take a very quick look to some of the students' feedback and then we are going to work and we are going to create our own activities today. So this is an interactive presentation. And what's the difference between this presentation and a regular PowerPoint? Well, this is how it looks like in my classroom, and the main difference that I found is that we can easily introduce hyperlinks, videos, and exercise, exercises with feedback, instant feedback. So, in this way, the students can work on their own at home, and we can do it in class and after the class. After as many times as we want. So we can easily add these fill in the blanks exercises. It's not just theory in the power. And for me this is the most the, the characteristic that I like it the most. Hello. Going back to the presentation, this is an interactive video using H5 Field. We are going to start using it. So we are in an English classroom now. We have used it before. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, it's not working this one. 
Yes, no. Mm -hmm. So there is a pause and a fill in the gaps activity. So in this case, we are in the class and I need you to think, I don't think that you know this. <coughs> it a sunny day in New York. We are teaching the past. Uh, past tense. Yeah. The past tense and here we have the tip. To be in the simple past. Okay? It was. Mm -hmm. The verse can you pass it to uh, the other student today? The verse and we have this tip to sing at that moment in the past. Mm -hmm. Sun? Uh, I don't remember the name of this mistake. So it's, it's you have sun. friends, your it's colleagues sun. will help you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What is the power we have? Sun. Okay, yeah. we can check it now. Yeah, it's in green. So we can continue. were barking and some of us were greeting. It's not just verbs, we have vocabulary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were studying the animals, do you remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm the oh, the birds. birds. Oh the birds? Oh, okay. oh they don't bleed. They don't bleed sheep. 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 <laughs> Collaborative learning in the class. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is not working? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you got your mean, it's not working. Oh. You set you up. No? Is it not working? No. We broke it. I broke it. <laughs> yes, now it's working. No. Mm -hmm. Pauses, or I have created these spaces with a fill in the blanks activity. In this case, I was interested in grammar. But you can ask about the content, you can, you can create the content about uh, questions, about what you have seen, to check if they understood, so to check comprehension. Just one question, is this a regular like, YouTube video or you mm -hmm. created it? I insert it and you are going to be able to okay. insert YouTube videos and to pause them where you want, to ask what you want, grammar, vocabulary, etc. So this was an example, I need to, to stop it because it continued. <laughs> now, what is it here? <laughs> Okay, though it's very nice, I prefer to show you more examples. So this was a fill in the blanks. Uh, we can also create this type of activities. They are true and false. So you can check culture, you can check language, you can check whatever you want. True or false activities. This is uh, a question with uh, just one right answer for reading comprehension, for example, and this is a grammar activity with the same type. No? You have to decide just which is the correct answer. So grammar. And an activity that is very popular for the teachers, probably, probably is this fill in the blanks with a song. No? It's typical you can copy the lyrics, paste it in H5P, and insert a video or a listening. So, you create the empty spaces. Mm 
where you want. So you can check vocabulary, grammar, or what you want to create as many as you want. Because sometimes we find that there are too many, or there's too little, or it's not what we want. So listening activities and vocabulary. Vocabulary, I love these exercises because you can create them very easily. And this is an example. And the students, what they have to do is to drag the <coughs> words in the correct places. We have to be precise, not there are no details anymore. For example, this one. And then we check it in class. They can, I give them the time to do it alone, and we check it, and they can do it alone at home. If you, uh, you can, you can see the solution, and you can retry it as many times as you want. So this was a vocabulary exercise. So how does it look like in the classroom? if you have on a smart board. We, di we did it in this way. Sometimes I am the one who guides, who guides these exercises, sometimes not. You have another example? Yes. Where I am the one. Oh. Please. This is very chulo. It's a short message that is called Smart Academy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smart Academy. Yeah. Smart Academy. Look at the video completely. Yes. Smart Academy. Perfect. Incluso con perfecto. El pasado. Al terminar, comentamos que nos ha parecido, ¿vale? Entonces, quiero teclar. Sí, acción alterado. Sí, quedó. Sí, quedó. Recordad, ojo, vemos la solución, ¿vale? Es un problema. is fill in the blanks, but you can add text where you want, by the end, at the beginning, you can guide them if we want. Um, I ask them, do you like this type of activities, with, not with H5P, but do you like the videos, do you like the grammar exercises, and they told us that they prefer these video activities, the interactive video, and the grammar exercises are the most popular exercises. They don't like music as much. This filling the blanks with music, they were not so interested. And I think, and this is my personal opinion, that they are more used to that, that they are more popular, they can find it online. But the video, it was like something new. And what the grammar. Hmm? The green, what does it correspond like, to? Like, me ha gustado uh, lo que más me ha gustado. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And they said things like, uh, I like it because uh, they are simple activities and to reinforce these concepts or sometimes the songs seem not to be so healthy that much in the learning process. I've seen this. But I like these activities because I felt that they were a different, more fun way of learning the information. Uh, they helped me learning. Most of the, of the comments were very positive. 
and they are aware that uh, they are useful for learning languages, even if they are, if they, they are not their favorites, like the songs. And they say things like, they give us instant feedback, or I enjoy how interactive these exercises are. It gives, it gives me much more engaged, engaging, interactive, instant feedback, and the last comment I need to read it, like, they are more interactive. I wish all four semesters had been like this. Some of the students are very fascinated using the iPad or the computers in the classroom with this activity. So, we are going to do it now. <laughs> and the first thing is to go to H5P. I, I have a very short guide and that is going to lead us to this process. So. Are you ready <laughs> for working? <laughs> Some of you, if you have done it before, if you have used it, think about an activity you can, you can use in your classroom on Monday, or what text are you working on? Thinking a video that you want to bring to the class. So maybe thinking in this video, we are going to create a true or false activity, a question and answer activity, a listening, a vocabulary activity, and a video. Do you need one more? So let's go to H5P in our computer. And the first thing we are going to do is to log in. We need maybe our password to create one. And it takes us just two minutes or three. And if we have entered before, we just log in and we are going to create new content. And now we are. If, we do, if you have any doubt, I am here, Simon is here. Mm -hmm. And I am going to give you Elsa. No, thank you. 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 We might have to go to the computer. Okay, so what do we do? Ah, there are 42 types of activities, different types of activities. We are going to do just five. Just <laughs> Which are the ones? Huh? Which are the type of activities? Yes, they are in order. So do I have to write the question here? Uh, why would why are you? No. In creating the content, we have to decide. Yes. Yes, I was saying it was for false. Yes. No, you have to click on it. Okay. Click on false. Mm -hmm. Thinking of question and it's a true or false activity, so you decide which answer is the true or false. Okay. Any question? Any question, but if it can be in Italian, what are you teaching in the classroom? A text? Okay. 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 Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay. But this is a good way of using pages and to, to, to take it to the classroom, no? If we wanted to create more questions following this one, how would we do it? Uh, I will go to, oops, it's 5 p.m. So I am in <coughs> to form the question. So this is the correct answer, no? So, mm -hmm. um, Well, as you can see, you can add here the media. It's optional to add an image or a video. So you can also add this video that you found. Uh -huh. Because in some exercises it's more easy and it's more fast, it's faster. But I'm gonna check that. I, I am going to ask you to do a single choice set. So we go again with 5P and we are going to create a question with answers exercises. And in order to do the, to do this, we have to select content. And what is the content? Select single choice set. And this is like this. It looks like this. Something, and they have to decide which is the correct answer. While you do it, I'm going to do it as well. Single choice set. And we are in page 3, if you need it. No, page four. So the first one is the one who is correct. Yeah, but the program itself is going to mix it, you know, then it's going to appear like randomly. But for us, the first one is the one who is the correct one. So let me do it. This is an My account, creating content. We have to select. Single choice Bueno, 
Can you see in here uh, question question or alternatives? In here it's easier to create more okay. and to create a set of four or five questions with answers. And can we paste it to the same page that we just used? Of course. The canvas, just we just have to do the same, like rich content edit, editor and HTML. If we're working with HTML, it's easier to write whatever we want okay. and to create the spaces. Cool. Any question? When we are done, we save it. As you can see, it doesn't allow us without the title. Sometimes we can't decide, I don't know, the content we are teaching in class or the, the title of the text we are using or the video. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. It's the people without something, not create an activity without content. Of the song, I'm not going to have 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 to have
Uh, how do we add the video here in media? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. um, so we can add an image, a video. A video, you see it? Plus. And here we paste it. Can you see it? We enter the direction. Mm -hmm. Or we upload it. We drag it on our desktop. Thank you. 
Dar de noi, nu? Da, da. 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 If you have it, if you are there, thinking in your exercise because I, we are a little bit tired. Ah. Mm -hmm. Four minutes to continue to do the next exercise, right? Mm -hmm.
YouTube videos directly or a link to a text. Mm -hmm. So it's good like to work from scratch. So, you see? Can we continue? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, have you done the vocabulary exercise? Yes. Yes? Let's do the interactive videos. So the interactive video, we go again to page 5 p mm -hmm. and we select interactive video. What do we have to do? New content, interactive video. And we have to select or to think in a video to use in our classroom. We have a, what, I, what did I use? I have used videos that they don't have a sound to them about the grammar and I added fill in the blanks activities what we have done the third activity we have created it was fill in the blanks and questions and answers so I repeat I have to decide a YouTube video and I'm going to ask questions where I'm going to stop where I want the video, I'm going to add something to the video to ask a fill in the blanks activity, a uh, drag the words in the correct order, what I want, or with what we have been doing before. Question and answer, single choice set is very easy. Single choice set and fill in the blanks. The fill in the blanks is to ask about problem, right? You have it in the handout the previous steps. Multiple choice, the typical multiple choice question. Can we try to think in a video and to have at least one pause with the question in the place where we want it? I have some ideas with videos that I have used in my classroom. Videos I like, some of the Anna, we have watched it. The present in Harvard employment and for the birds. They are short videos, they last the most five minutes. So it's very to to write the story. They can write the story or they can but it's, it seems that five minutes is too long. It's no five minutes here is no. not allowing. Uh, I have added videos with five minutes. I have added the sound. I have a, the activity I use the most is snack attack and the students have to tell the story in the past. And they love it. And it's 5 minutes, 30 seconds. I have another video that is Margarita. Margarita is a silent short movie that lasts 8 minutes. And I have used just the beginning. They have to watch the rest at home and to write something after that. This was my idea. And I'm going to do it. Create, upload, or embed the video. Add the interaction to number one. Call the video and add multiple choice questions, for example. Don't do it. I copy. Add the video. There's a limit to the length of the video. I don't think so. No, it's not working. Do you want mine? No, it's okay. I can't understand what's going on. I'm going to try it. Okay. I don't know. It's in interactive video, right? Interactive video. It's very interesting. We need to add interactions. To add the stops, to add the interactions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to work is the step to add interactions. We can also decide if you prefer to see the questions on the video or just the And uh, multiple choice. Multiple choice is very easy to do. <laughs> so I know this video, I know 
I want to stop in here. So what I do is I pause it. I pause when I want to add this. I click multiple times, I said. Right. Okay, right. so right. When, right. when we are here, I don't like them to, to last a lot because I want that the students, after answering the question, immediately this filling the blanks activity disappears. So I just write a couple of seconds. But this is personal. Now, the way we want to work with this is personal. It can last more, the question. So instead of it, it is. And if you do See, see, because I'm going to post it. My opinion. Oh, okay, okay. There, there are two possibilities: a poster or a button. If you decide button, you just see a hand. On a poster, you see the collectivity. It's a poster. Mm -hmm. Preference. I prefer button. So. Um, you see, you have to pick which is the correct answer. Of course. Once we are done with the questions we want to ask, done. And we can move it and place it where we want. It looks like this. We can edit it. Maybe you prefer the poster. You see, and you can place it where you want. Yeah, poster. Button or poster. Ah, you, cannot, you cannot check it while you are editing. You are going to see the final version, right? Okay. So I have one in here and I can create another question here. Okay, single choice set. Just say What is single choice? Question with answers? What is the poster? The poster? Yes. Uh, wait, here's the woman. I can't Okay, with this one we need to create more questions. <laughs> The difference between what well, this is a poster and this is a button. And you have to, once we are in the classroom, in the button, we, we need to press in order to see the question and answer. So, in this way, if we don't want to stop in there, if we want to skip that question, it's, you know, it's more. I think it's nicer to watch the video. But this is a person. Optional. So I have created two. We save it. Okay. 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 We are able to see what we created. Mm -hmm. We have done. You see? Mm -hmm. 
Dat is een zijde En dan ga je is what we did at the beginning of the class. The class, the workshop. So it's a, no, like, about the good morning video. It's the same. So this is, this is like a mixture of what we have been doing. Questions? No? Huh? So you usually do that too with our homework or you do that with our No. No, I have it in my, in my campus course and I use it when I explain something. We are doing this together in class with the keyboard. Like the today. Key. So you have this uh, um, wireless keyboard mm -hmm. that it has around. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need the a keyboard. Yes. If not, it's not so fun the building for me. The keyboard is I think is one of the So they just have to there is not a way to go to a computer or to yes. go an app with the iPhone. Of course, uh, if you have the computer in class they can do it alone and then we can write it all together, for example. It's up to you. I prefer to have the smartphone of the smartphone. The smartphone. Mm -hmm. So we, have the smartphone. we can we can see it's like it's easier, no? But yeah. we can work. It's, it's nicer. We see it. We do it all at the same time. We think together. We stop at the same time. If they do it in pairs, a video, you know, they listen to the others. So it's a bit this is bigger, and then they have to pass around to them. Yes. If not, I would do the other exercises. More questions? Do you need some? I think that we have done everything, more or less. No? Any questions? Any questions? So if you want, as I, I mean, this is the issue. If you want, you can be working, or if you have questions, I can help you now. Should we get another process for um, putting the things in the pages and go stuck in another process? In pages? Yeah. In canvas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... I go... To any of the exercises, yeah. I click Embed. So you go, you start from... From, from H5P. H5P. Yeah. H5P has two possibilities. Well, there are more, but by now we have download or embed. I copy embed. Mm -hmm. I copy this. Well, uh, it's shown with this size. I don't care the size, but you can change it. So, as you see. so this is. It doesn't even have to be in edit mode when it's just. No, no. Just well, I'm just copying a uh, direction. Yeah. But you don't need. And what happens if you can download? It downloads as what? Well. I, I didn't work when I did it. Mexico. <laughs> yeah, but I think I prefer to, to paste it in a browser, in a blog, in a web page. It didn't work when I downloaded it. And what? You have to send it to your students. Why do you want to download it? No, but in, on Canvas, you have modules, and in modules you can um, insert oh, yes. links on modules. So can you, can you do that? I think so, and there is a possibility with H5P mm -hmm. to integrate the H5P program or the H5P exercises in Canva. Oh, really? Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So but I don't have it. Do you live here and you copy that? Or? So I go to I copy this. And then you ask me more things. And I go to my Canvas course, right? It's in here. So V or pages. Last page, oops, sorry, pages, oh, personal information, <laughs> so I'm here, last page. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So by incorporating um, HRP into Canvas, what you're referring to is just for clarification, it's not pasting the iframe into the pages, into the code, 
but to have an HIP module as integrated into Canvas. It is possible to do that. However, that is something that CUIT would have to eventually at some point sign off on. Um, we have brought that to their attention. Um, I don't know where it is kind of gone. Just wanted to point that. Good. So I go back to last page. Like always, a title. And here I have to click HTML. Do that? So I click and then I can paste it. I paste it and you see it like this. Okay? So in order to see, I click again Rich Content Editor. HTML, you see it? Rich Content Editor is how my students are going to see it. But don't forget, save it and publish. Okay. If you don't publish it, the students are not able to see it. And, okay. <laughs> yeah, but here in pages, I decide. Oh, your pages. I know. This is from my previous course. Can you see here on the right? Here, if I do this, it's unpublished. I can't just publish it in the morning. If I don't want them to show, I don't want them to see the video before the class. So it's a surprise. And then I just go to pages and I use it during the class. And of course you can send it as homework. With a no, we have other tools that Just for explanations are for practicing. I like this. It's something more fun. This this song, this uh, this click click and to see that you are doing everything good makes us to feel that we are doing things good. Um, they, their faces change when they see that they are doing good. And that they see the green. These needs the internet connection, right? Yes. It doesn't work. Yes, but in Colombia it works in the classes where I have been working, in my classes. And this, sometimes I have more problems because I'm more slow than my students. They go faster, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I tell you this because sometimes it's like, it's going to work. Simon. Um, no. I just wanted to so the reason why this is no, concentrated no. connection um, is because, also to nice why this is free, is because this lives on other servers. Um, and whereas you can get the iframe, uh, and build content on their servers, they hold the rights to it. So you will never be able to actually download the code, which is the obvious problem in this situation. So you let it be free, but they they just. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. This was the interactive presentation. You just click interactive presentation and it's like before. No, you add images and you add fill in the blanks. More activities. I just tell you this if you want to to do it at home, you know. More questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, did you like it? Do, do we have any other option to create this kind of activity? Not yes. using the edge like H5P or something like that. Yes, for sure. There are many, many, many ways of creating if you, if you some, how did I find it? I feel like uh, finding exercises that I liked, and I just asked the create the people who had done it. How what what did you use? So another thing that I like, and that is for me is easier, but I don't like the presentation as much, is learning apps. Learning apps is another app. Probably. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try. It. Yes, it's this one. <laughs> this is learning up. So they have to match. 
the pictures. Uh, what is this? In Miedo? Uh, it's very easy to use. Learning apps is also free. Mm -hmm. and it's very good for the beginners because it's uh, very visible for the images. Simon? So, related to this one, there are a number of alternatives, uh, many of which deal with sort of one type of activity, maybe two. Um, I have done a number of workshops on them as well, uh, but to my knowledge, none of them kind of collects everything in this one place, uh, which mm -hmm. means what he does. 42 options, and there can more activities are coming. Uh, there are many people working on yeah, now we can we can do dictation, and it's very nice. So, what is what dictation? See dictation, like uh, you record something, and the students have to write mm -hmm. what you're listening. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the modules that they um, uh, added this week. This um, week, mm -hmm. yeah. there's dictation. Um, another one is 360 degree photos. Um, and interactive course you can build, and the third one, which is my uh, personal favorite, is what they call branching, uh, where you can build stories where you allow the users to choose their own path, their own solutions to, I don't know, problems or questions, and based on that, the story will branch out into different nodes. This one, branching is amazing. Oh, man. 42 activities. We can try it. Go on the dictation. Dictation. If my students are working on um, transcribing, would they be able to use this? I think so. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea. So transcribing from a video? From an audio. So you add the audio here and they have to write it. That's nice. So does it have media to decide to I haven't tried yet, but it, it has mm -hmm. sound yes, by sound. now and text. Okay. I haven't tried it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if there are any questions or if you guys want to sort of stick around and, and work on things, uh, we will be here. Uh, feel free to help yourselves to the cookies, coffee, and water if you, um, if you want. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone that next Friday uh, we are welcoming Ophelia Garcia from CUNY. She used to be here at TC. Um, she will be talking about translanguaging, uh, which um, sort of encompasses the work that she's been doing with bilingual Spanish-English students. Uh, so if you have uh, bilingual students in your classes, uh, I would really encourage you to, to attend the talk. Um, what else? This is being recorded. We'll throw it on our um, channel soon. And if uh, yeah, if there's anything that else uh, that you would like us to help you with or discuss, uh, feel free to let us know. Thank you. Thank you.